Hi, my wife's astrology tribe, Cosmic Insight Astrology. I am your co-pilot, Christina. Uh, I shared the pictures about the certain reason why series over here, because today I'm going to talk about suicide and the indicators in astrology chart about suicide. And when we talking about suicide, we have to check the 12th house. 12th house ruled by Pisces. And 12 holes ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. But Neptune is indicators uh, for mental illnesses, alcoholism, suicide. And also uh, the 12 holes, uh, it's indication for hospitalization, uh, men mental institutions. And also, for example, uh, it's indicators for, for uh, prisons as well. So. When we check a natal chart, it's, you know, like I tell you in every kind of series uh, or podcast, what I'm making for you, one aspect is not enough. And you always have to have a triggering in your transit chart as well, all right? So for example, why is suicide there? So it could come because of mental illness, it could be because of um, bipolar disease or depression. It could be because of social rejection, right? And, and it could be multiple reasons because of a person got raped or, or, or different kind of situation that we have to check in an astrology chart. So what does, for example, bipolarity look like in a natal chart? So if you have Saturn in your first house, it could be like a person is constantly bullied or even physically restricted or, you know, disabled or physically abused as well. For example, even if it's conjunct with Mars and Saturn in first house, it's a, an abuse physically. And bipolarity could be like it's a depression and mania together. So Mars in 12th house indication for depression, all right? Or actually, it could be Mars is very uh, initiating planet, but 12th house is mental illness. So actually, it's a mania. And Saturn in first house is depression. So it's going to become bipolarity in, in an astrology chart. Neptune. Neptune rules alcohol and drugs. And many times, suicide is a... Uh, you know, like it's an overdose, it's an accidental overdose as well. So for example, Neptune in 12 house in Pisces, um, conjuncting with Mars or conjuncting with Uranus, that's an accidental overdose or, or, or you know, like an accidental suicide because many times people doesn't want to kill themselves. They just try to... to to draw attention toward to themselves because they think they are unseen or unheard. So it could be like Neptune, badly affected in 12th house, could be definitely indicate suicide. Mars in 12th house in critical degree could be definitely, or even exalted Mars in 12th house could be like 28 degrees Capricorn could be if it's badly aspected tendency for suicide as well. But heavy 12 house energy, it could be a lot of people had heavy 12 house energy who are very famous, but it's still with very, very hard life. So 12 house energy, for example, Biden has 12 house energy, a lot of planet in 12 house. And you know, he lost his daughter and wife, and he lost his uh, son later on. He got rejected many times during presidency, but eventually he became. So that is a very heavy energy over there. And of course, uh, for example, son in 12th house, uh, uh, with badly aspected with Mars and Uranus conjunction, for example, it, it could significate suicide as well. Uh, so what else? 
can be. For example, rape could uh, be um, leading to suicide as well. And for example, if somebody has a Venus-Pluto opposition or Venus-Pluto conjunction, for example, and, uh, and it's squaring with a malefic planet in, in the 12th house, that it could be because of my humiliation, because I get molested, raped, I going to, to commit a suicide. Okay, what other in, uh, indicators is, for example, moon badly expect, expected, why? Because moon is our emotions, all right? And moon is the way we react to situation. For example, water moon signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, are very deeply, intensively living their emotions, right? And for example, fire moon signs are very proud. So fire moon signs, badly expected, and with 12 house aspected, uh, aspected or, or you know, like for example, eight house rules death, 12 house rules suicide, hospitalization, mental illness, and if the eight house lord or 12 house lord in your chart are actually transiting something around your ascendant or, or badly aspected some planets in your 12 house or badly aspected your sun or your moon or transiting your moon or your sun, it could create actually uh, a suicide or commit suicide in, in astrology chart as well. Okay, so for example, fire moons are very proud. So a fire moon, for example, if it's get humiliated and let's say it's a Leo moon and, and was an actor or actress and it was in, for example, in ninth house, right? But it's going to square, uh, let me see. No, it was in, uh, it was, yes. So square with, uh, for example, in, uh, so for example, it's a Leo moon in ninth house. And it is something about publishing, something about being in the limelight and, and, and in media. And then it's going to aspect the 12th house, Neptune, for example. And then it's, it's a square, right? Then you get a transiting planet on the 12th house, Neptune. It's a Uranus. Or it could be like then that person could die from alcohol poisoning or drink herself or, or himself uh, to death because of losing some kind of, uh, went under humiliation publicly and drink themselves or overdose like Uranus and Mars conjuncting with this Neptune transit Uranus Mars could be an overdose because public humiliation. Uh, okay, let's see an other uh, um, aspect and then other example. Let's see the eight house uh, Lord is, uh, for example, you have Libra in eight house, let's see. And uh, your Venus is actually, that is the dispositor, right? The ruler of Libra, eight house, it's in your 12th house. So that's something about your beauty. So for example, if Pluto going to transit on your Venus in 12th house, it could be a suicide because of some kind of uh, sexual humiliation, or it could be uh, also Mars going on Venus and or Saturn going to Venus in the 12th house. And because of, um, for example, if you have 8th house Libra and if you have an other malefic planet, which is squaring with this, then it could be again, but it's not going to square, it's going to try. Okay. Yeah, it could square if it is like a beginning of eight house planet and uh, end of, for example, um, beginning of 12 house planet and end of eight house planet could still indicate a square over here. So yes, it is... Uh, it could, it could be a devastating uh, situation again with suicide. All right, um, 
So look out for your transit, the 12th house transit. Look out for the 8th house lord and 12th house lord. If it's in a bad aspect with each other or if it's going to transit the 12th house and any planets in the 12th house and if it has any malefic aspect with malefic planets. All right, so that's what I wanted to, to say about suicide and mental illnesses over here. I hope you had some, you know, lights. Uh, and if you want to, you can watch the 13 reasons why I'm watching with my older son, actually, because it is a really, really intense and, and, uh, and very good series. But I want you to to be sure you are with your son or daughter to watch it because that, that, that is a very difficult and heavy on the soul. I hope I going to get your attention later on. And if you would like to uh, have a meeting and a reading with me, check out my website, which is www.urbanwitch.org. Till I meet you again. Bye.